Hey, welcome to another episode of beersandbars.com. Today is Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. Hope if you have already eaten, it tastes great, and if you're about to eat, I'm sure, make some room. Uh, today I'll be reviewing New Belgium Gluttony. Now, this is a gluten-reduced beer, so it's not gluten-free, but it's gluten-reduced. And uh, me personally, there's no need for me to drink gluten-free, or I'm not into gluten-free stuff or whatever, but... Uh, it was something that I hadn't drank before. It was a pale ale, one of my favorite styles of beer. And New Belgium obviously always comes out with great beer, so I just wanted to see how their gluten-reduced beer tastes. Now, I had to do some research, and basically, it's still um, brewed or fermented with stuff that produces uh, gluten, but what it does, it also includes um, enzymes that remove uh, the proteins that uh, produce uh, gluten, uh, or that trigger gluten in um, in the well that produces triggers that create gluten in the beer so it does contain I guess gluten but it's so minute that it shouldn't affect those who are uh, sensitive to gluten all right and another thing about this beer is that well it is a pale ale so it's um, brewed with Equinox um, hops and Equinox, I had to do some research on that. It's also changing its name to Equinot. Uh, and then basically what's crazy is that this type of hop gives off a, a citrusy aroma. Also orange, pure, uh, uh, orange peel, lime, papaya type flavor too in your mouth. So this is great. It's just crazy the way hops uh, bring out so many different types of aromas and different tastes and everything that you drink. Uh, also, what they also added was guayaba, guayaba, papaya, and stone fruits. And did you guys know what stone fruits are? Stone fruits are those fruits that contain um, the seeds in it. So, like, for example, peaches, plums, or, like, cherries. So, they're called stone fruits, I guess, because after you're done eating the fruit, you can get the, the middle or the seed, and you can throw it at somebody like a stone. So, I guess that's what stone fruits are. And you get to you learn something every day. All right, guys, well, let's jump into this one right here. Try not to cut myself with my all-in-one bottle opener. These sides are very sharp, so I would not recommend using this if you're drunk. All right, guys. Cheers. You see that? Has a nice amount of head. Has a uh, nice carbonation in there. And it definitely smells like a pale ale. Um, the citrusy aroma does come at you. And that's what always comes at me. I think that's why it became a hot pit because as, when I was growing up, I loved me grapefruit juice. And the first thing I tasted um, or I reacted with when I first tasted an IPA or pale ale was that grapefruit type uh, taste, that type peel. So, you know, it's pretty good. Let's go ahead and try it. Through the snow, it is winter. Pretty good, has a nice little hoppiness um, at the end. Can I tell you the difference of a uh, of a beer that has gluten and a beer that doesn't. Off the fact of this one, I could not um, taste anything that was missing. What I can tell you is that I tried this beer. Um, this is the second time today drinking this beer. First time I drank it, it was a little more room temperature, not as cold. The second one is colder, and quite frankly, I think the first one that was not so so cold had a, lot, a little more flavor, um, and I think uh, added a lot more uh, characteristics to the beer. So if you do want to drink this beer, I would recommend that you don't drink it completely, you know, ice cold. That um, you put it in the refrigerator, but don't let it get um, really chilled in there. Because I think um, if you drink it a little cold, not ice cold, you really taste and smell the aroma and the characteristics of the beer and every taste that New Belgium put into this. Alright guys, well, I mean, if I was you, I'd definitely pick up this beer. Uh, I bought it at Vaughn's, a six-pack for, I believe, uh, 
$8.99. Um, and I think it's a good buy. Thanks for watching another episode of Beers and Bars. Please subscribe or comment. And if you haven't done so already, have a great beer. Thank you.